guys, Smithy again, coming to you not live from, not the forge, we're on my couch again. And this is just going to be a regular video because we have the official last Smithy's Forge loot anime unboxing. This came, I, this is actually kind of weird. I got an email letting me know that this was going to be late because they had a hard time getting a hold of an item again. And then like right after that, I got the email letting me know it was in the mail. So I guess if you cancel, they put you as a priority to get your box to you quick. So order month by month, and they'll just make sure you get it faster, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, if I remember right, you read the title so you know if I was right at this point. The theme was Quirky, which the only series I can vaguely remember was uh, Konotsuba, which is definitely fitting the theme, and uh, Fooly Cooly which definitely fits the theme. Now, I could be wrong on any of this, but you know what? Won't know until we open it. What if it was fairy tale? I don't think fairy tale's in this. But that would fit. You're 100% right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, we have a shirt again. I doubt we're going to outdo the Evangelion shirt. But let's start with the manga. Volume 1 of Bakano. Definitely fits the theme. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only uh, series I've ever heard of where you'll have a homicidal maniac trying to kill somebody in one scene and then asking the exact same person for relationship advice in the next. So that's definitely cool. Actually, I'll probably read this and then give it to Molly, who is possibly watching this, so that's probably coming your way. Okay, we have a t-shirt. Shirt will leave for left. We have a pillow. We have a little pillow. It's a Konotsuba pillow with little video game sprites of all the characters. That is cool. That is really cool. It's got all four of them down here. That, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, and they've got different sprites for different characters. That's cool. That, okay. I don't think that beats the Evangelion shirt from last time, but this is still pretty cool. This is a, this is a cool little... Yeah, I like that. Okay, what else we got? We got a... Handkerchief? I guess. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. But it's not... This is creepy, okay? I don't know what this is, but this is very creepy. Japan comes up with some really cool stuff, but then they come up with some stuff that just really messes with my brain. So, that's a thing that I'm hoping the poster will explain. Let's see. That's the packaging. We have our pin, which is... Okay. Focus. Uh, delicious dungeon. So, chefs in prison, I guess? Whatever. <laughs> okay. We have the poster, which is Konotsuba, of course. And I gotta say, I do like this poster. I, truth be told, I have not actually watched much of this. I have the first volume, because I got that in, a, not in an older loot crate. And it's okay, in my opinion. It's not a, uh, it's not like my favorite series by any means, but the characters do have a certain charm to them. Um, except for the masochistic knight, she kind of freaks me out. But everybody else is actually pretty funny. 
So, yeah, that's cool. And, oh yeah, let me look at that real quick and see what these other items are. Uh, Pico Taro handkerchief is what that thing is. No idea what Pico Taro is. It is just creepy. If you enjoy it, good for you. If not, join the club. And the t-shirt... T-shirt... is Pop Team Epic. He's a Japanese, Japanese comedian. That would be why I don't know him. Okay, so he's a Japanese comedian on a handkerchief. So we have this very heavy t-shirt. Okay, yes, I've seen that guy in videos before. He's very weird. Zeke, stop it. Leave it. So yes, Pop Team Epic. Don't know anything about it. The, I don't know, some type of super chibis, I guess? I mean, the shirt's nice. It's a heavy shirt. It's a really heavy shirt in comparison to most of the others. But, I mean, it's cute, I guess is the best way to put that. It's cute. It's freaking weird, but it's cute, so we'll go with that. Um, show off your irreverent sense of humor and love of memes with this Pop Team Epic Tea featuring everyone's favorite bird-flipping 14-year-olds. Bird. Bird flipping 14 year olds. Yes, that, that is what that says. Do we mean what kind of. Yeah, see, see, she, she's doing it too. <laughs> she's doing it too. Are we talking about flipping actual birds or are we talking about flipping somebody the bird? What? Somebody tell me, what do these two do? Are they just <laughs> running around flipping people off? <laughs> because if so, I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard of them yet. But okay, so that's. This is a weird. This is a weird box. Um, I'm not going to say that I am ending my loot anime series on a high note. It's just a very interesting note. It's like... This was like the first time I saw the lead singer of Godsmack. And all I could think is, how the heck does that little dude have that kind of a voice? That is what this loot crate was for me. So we're going to end it at that. So, um, definitely, I would say definitely the, uh, the winner is the Konotsuba pillow. That's, that's cool just because I like the characters. But, yes, we have the weird comedian handkerchief, pin, odd shirt, manga, and a poster. That will actually probably get hung up. I don't actually have most of these posters hung up, but I do like these characters. So I'll probably be hanging that one up. And we're going to leave it at that. So, once again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you got something to say, put it down below. And if you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. And sub if you feel like it. Later, guys.